Um, I just wanted to ask, what is your view on the fact that bans on abortion do lead to about a 21% increase in pregnancy-related deaths when you hold that your views on abortion and abortion bans are based in the fact that you have a desire to protect life and save lives because every human being is made in God's image? Because I think we're going to have a fundamental disconnect here. The entire abortion debate is centered on whether indeed a, an unborn child or a, or a human life with potential is in fact that, or if it is just a ball of cells. If you believe that there is inherent value to a fetus, then I am seeking to preserve that life as well as the life of the mother. If you look at the raw numbers in terms of, for example, in the United States, a million abortions a year, let's assume that laws banning abortion in the United States were universal, those million abortions go away tomorrow. That's an effective law, the abortions go away, but there's also a concomitant increase in the number of women who are seeking back alley abortions, for example. There's a concomitant increase in the number of women who are dying in pregnancy-related childbirth. That would not be a million. That would be a lot lower than a million because a million women out of a million women, that would suggest that a million abortions would, if, if brought to term, a million of those women would die. That's obviously not true. So for me, an abortion prevented is a life saved. And you have to weigh that against what you're talking about, which is the life of, of the mother when it comes to a pregnancy. Now, even as a, a fan of, of pro-life position, and I am, I'm, I'm a deeply pro-life person, I still have an exception for the life of the mother. So if the life of the mother is endangered by a pregnancy, then abortion would be legal. That's true for every pro-lifer in the United States, by the way, including the most pro-life people, including me. So, you know, the, the, I think that in order to make the argument that you're making, you would have to assume that there is no cost to abortion remaining legal in terms of lives lost.